Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Car Question. Matt is riding the Toyota Mirai this week, the car from the future, because Mirai means future. And by the way, they did a special edition of Back to the Future with that car. It was just funny to see those photos around. So it's mostly an electric vehicle, but the fuel that's going to be used to power the battery is going to be hydrogen with a principal component, which is a fuel cell. So fuel cell has been there for a long time, even NASA use it in their spacecraft. But the only difference was that they didn't use only hydrogen to power it. But we're going to create electricity with that combined force. And the only thing who's going to be generated in the air is water. And yes, it's better for the environment to see only water release rather than some fuel emission, which are kind of getting worse and worse over time. So let's talk about the exterior of that amazing car and really unique. But you've got the look, Battlestar Galactica. Yes, it looks like a jet fighter from the future when you look at it. Mostly the front end of it. And how about the back? No tailpipe, huh? And you're going to see that it share many resemblance with the Prius, but also the wheels that are are really boring when you look at them. Inside, you've got that central display where all your information will be right there. You only need to lower your eyes a little bit and you're going to be back soon on the road. You've got also that center console, which is looking really futuristic with that display in the center where you can adjust the temperature. But once you do that, you're going to have to leave your eyes off the road. Otherwise, visibility is real good inside. The seats are really comfortable. You've got that eye sitting position but you're gonna have to know that it's only four places inside including the driver and not five you've got that seven inches display screen where you're gonna be able to connect your phone see the gps use the radio and it's looking like every other system of toyota you've got a real unique button right there on your left side which is going to be the h2 button to make sure that the car pee outside rather than inside your garage because this is going to be the button to send the water outside that it's going to be generated by the system because this car emits only water so that's good for the environment and by the way we had the challenge from the team to drink that water to test it so you're going to have a video soon about that let's talk about the engine well this is a permanent magnet synchronous ac engine so i had different specification when you look at the website on 51 52 53 horsepower but the amount of torque is 247 it's mated to a fuel cell which is solid polymer electrolyte and 1.5 kilowatt hour battery which is in the trunk running along with the smaller of two hydrogen tank which is made of carbon fiber so really resistant they're reinforced and their normal operation pressure is 10,000 psi so yes that might scare you guys but believe me there have been so many research done so many security tests done on those things even if they've got an expiration date well guess what they can resist an impact and that battery is air cool nickel metal hydrogen and it's only one speed direct drive but still it, it can go fast let's talk about the road handling of that car acceleration are not that bad i was kind of surprised even if you're one passenger inside or you're four you're gonna see it's mostly the same acceleration because you've got plenty of torque braking is going to be sometimes vague though if you're asking too much from the brake you're going to see that they're not leaner and if you're going to do an emergency stop you're going to see that those tires mainly focus on low rolling resistance won't be up to the task same thing for the suspension also it's comfortable it's souple but you've got a short travel of that suspension and sometimes you will get to the bottom or the top of it but otherwise it can handle the bumps let's talk about hydrogen consumption not fuel huh? so the tank is five kilograms of hydrogen the price is the one that you see exactly on the screen at the time that we did that video it's going to be funny to compare in a few years from now if price will go down or will go up so it's not cheap it's not about money it's not about saving some money with that car i know a lot of electric car guys told me that oh, this technology is going to cost too much money it's all about choice it's not a competition which one's going to be the most affordable and you cannot spit on a company who will come and invest big money in your country big money where you live to do some research to do some testing 
to do something with those cars and I want to be part of those nice unique project. Remember guys the fuel cell is not a recent technology but testing it in cars we're gonna see more and more of them. A lot of manufacturers today will offer them and even some boats in Japan and China will run those technology and I prefer that to see all diesel pollution right there in the water of the ocean but with a car like that just having some water emission is really impressive. So the price total well is going to be around $70 to completely fill up your tank. So observe uh, I took some numbers from a lot of people and then combined it to an average of 4.8 liter per 100 if you want to compare exactly with your car what it will give. So Toyota told us that this car could do like 502 kilometers range and refuel in about five minutes so it's not real long. That's in perfect condition. Not too hot, not too cold, right there in the middle. So we observe around 400, 425 kilometers which is not that bad. It's more than the average electric car that we see out there today. But that also is going to evolve over time. So still the consumption is kind of okay. Toyota is a little bit more optimistic when you check the papers so they say it's 3.5 liter per 100 kilometers or 0.93 kilograms per 100 kilometer of hydrogen. Remember guys filling is real easy. I think it's even more convenient than recharging your car at your workplace, at your home. You don't have to say oh will this outlet work? You just get up to the fuel station where there is hydrogen, you remove the cap, you plug it in, you use your card and the computer will figure out exactly what's left in your tank, will calculate exactly what it's gonna send in and you have that process which is a little bit more longer than filling a car with gas. But you know what? No emission and you can hear that the whistle at the end because it's really high pressure. When you look at the size of that house it's really big but it's a real easy Easy task. So at the fuel station that we went right now they are transporting hydrogen. I know a lot of you guys on Facebook EV guys told me look at that graphic you see we still need to transport it it's pollution it's not gonna be the optimal thing in the future. How about you open your mind a little bit, be open to research once again. Let's say that it's an EV truck that's gonna carry around the hydrogen or how about hydrogen truck? They might be used in the future to simply transport though. And I know that the distribution is not perfect now but it's gonna get better in the future. This company in Quebec, Harnois, their plan are to expand so they might be able to get a few more stations around here in Quebec and that would be perfect and their plan is to to make it all across Canada. So over the time we're gonna see more and more hydrogen station and it's all about choice. You will have the choice and I really like the time that it took me to fill the car which was around half full and three minutes later that's it I'm done. We're really curious with the system so it's gonna take time to fill. You've got some different phase and as soon as you can unplug it there you go. So right now this station is not fully operational. In the future they will be able to create hydrogen right there and use it. I'm a real fan here in Quebec of how we produce our electricity. It's green. It's using water. It's using turbine mostly. I know it's not the same in every country though but I I really wish Quebec would be one of the great supplier of hydrogen, we create them with green electricity and there you go. The process of creating hydrogen will be better in the future and even if it's not perfect now it will get better over time. So for the distribution of it now California way in advance when you compare them to us. You've got the distribution network that is implemented and really functional so you can lease the car for the first three years you're gonna have free hydrogen with it. So it's gonna be a choice of the future so I hope I can see that. So let's talk about security so if you get an impact with the car they're really resistant. Guess what sitting on fuel it's four more times the energy that can goes up into flame when you compare it to hydrogen. So yeah it can create a fire but it's going to be up and will go away really quickly rather than fuel. When it's doing a mess it's doing a mess with that. So security with the Toyota Safety Sense package also you've got all the features included in that one basic with the car. But let's talk about the minus and plus points of that car. Well the distribution 
Connection Network, which is now inexistent here in Quebec. Only one. There will be more though, but it's not how Toyota is going to sell some car or create some interest. You need to create interest after everything is there to make sure that your client is real happy with the car. So their strategy now is mostly directed toward company. We're going to see how well it goes over time. And that vehicle is a heavyweight. It's 4,075 pounds. So it's two tons of weight. So it feels when you drive it, when you brake. You've got only four places inside, not five. And even if you guys ask me a lot of questions when you saw me with the car, is it a prototype? How does it work? There's real interest there, but I don't know anybody who will be able to pay for that car at a price such high. On the plus side, that technology is really interesting. You've got no emission beside the water, and I really love that for the environment. You've got more range than the average of EV vehicle. I know you guys with Tesla, you've got more, but today, all the vehicles I see on the road, a lot of them are offering around 100, 130, 150 kilometers of range. So we have to do an average with all the vehicles. So it's comfortable and beside a few buzzing from that hydrogen system, you don't hear nothing. So it's really low noise level that you're going to find inside the cabin. It's an exclusive car for now. I can't wait to see for the future. In the US, you can rent the car, which is way more interesting than the price that you're going to buy this car in Canada here. So when we check the price, it's more than 75 grand. I was like, what? So I don't know. I don't think they really want to sell to real customers. They're going to figure those things out and come back with a great price. I'm sure about that. And you've got that nice warranty of the fuel cell, which is eight year, 160,000 kilometers. So this car must be pretty reliable. Let's talk about the competition. You've got the Clarity Hydrogen. By the way, we did not test that one, but it's more luxurious inside. The materials are looking great and I think it's more refined all around and a big plus point. Well, you've got 5% that you can carry around. You've got even the toxin, which is offered as a nitrogen version in the West, in California. So it's kind of bigger and following that famous SUV tendency. So I really love new technology. I love to test those. And I hope that everybody is as open-minded as I am when it comes to trying new stuff, seeing how it goes, doing some research. One thing is sure, we're gonna be there to follow how hydrogen will evolve over time with the Toyota Mirai. But today I'm real happy to test that car and I'm real happy that my week with the car only sent water out there rather than nasty fuel emission. I want to know what do you think, guys? Feel free to comment in the section down there below. Warning, EV guys, I know you're real aggressive with those hydrogen cars. If you're bringing some bad comments without explaining, I want a discussion. I don't want no bashing around. So if you do some bashing, you're going to be kicked out of car question. And that's not good. You don't have to be mean on car question. <laughs> Otherwise, do a thumbs up with that video. You're going to see the acceleration of the Toyota Mirai real soon on the channel. So subscribe, press the bell, and we're going to see you another time in the future. Maybe or without hydrogen. Take care.